So this is Sweet Autumn Clematis. We have this growing up a pergola in our yard, and uh, I've always been a little worried about it because people talk about it as though it's invasive, although I've never seen it invasive. Right now we're along the road, it's kind of busy. I've never seen it invasive, so we've never bothered to take it out. But as you can see here, and growing up into this tree, it can get pretty invasive. And if you scan down here along the road, this is kind of like your worst case scenario about what an invasive species would look like. Look how it's climbing up into the trees. Now, you know, fortunately what it's killing off is probably a lot of honeysuckle. <laughs> we don't see this like this very often, but this is why you want to be careful of it. It's across the road over there. Now, I don't know if this is a certain variety. I feel like sometimes these things hybridize and then are not hybridized necessarily, but there's a certain uh, variety of it that just goes wild. And then suddenly this uh, thing that has been part of our landscape for years and has been kind of polite in maintaining itself goes hog wild. So I had a comment on one of our, our videos on um, where I was expressing my opinion that uh, burning bush or winged euonymus doesn't belong in the landscape. And it's very invasive when it comes to the natural areas. And while it looks really nice in your landscape, there's nothing to contain it within your landscape. It spreads out. And uh, someone commented on it that, boy, you know, how do you know when something is invasive? You know, you go to the the, uh, the nursery and they're selling it, and you kind of assume that they're not going to sell something that's that's bad for the environment. Not necessarily the case. They're going to sell things that are good for their bottom line. Um, Sweet autumn clematis is one of those things. You know, w we need to consider when we buy things and we put them into our landscape, are we impacting things more than what our immediate area? It's fine for us to make decisions about our own property, but when we put an invasive species on our property, we're making decisions not just for us, but we're making decisions for the community and the world at large. We should take that responsibility pretty seriously. Anyway, we wanted to share that with you. Um, let us know what you've got, if you're, what you're doing in your landscaping. Are you um, trying to include more natives? Are you trying to remove non-natives? Have you found things in your landscape that are uh, kind of going crazy and uh, showing up places where they shouldn't? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for coming along.